There are lots of places to stay around Disneyland and the Anaheim Resort. We recently stayed at the Spring Hill Suites, so let's take a look at that. Hi everyone, it's Ket from the Mouse Scout. Spring Hill Suites is located on the corner of Catella and Harbor, about half a block from the Anaheim Convention Center and half a mile from Disneyland's entrance. There are two Spring Hill Suites in the area close to Disneyland. The one we're talking about today is Spring Hill Suites at Anaheim Resort Convention Center. When you first arrive, park by the entrance to the hotel because you'll need your room key to access the parking garage below. Parking here can be a challenge, but it's not impossible. The entrance is in a courtyard that it shares with a residence in Anaheim, which we also have done a video on. I'll link it below, so be sure to check that out. In this courtyard area is also where you'll find the pet relief area because Spring Hill Suites allows pets. They welcome two pets, 40 pounds or less, and charge a non-refundable fee per stay. The lobby is small, but it has a little market with sundries, drinks, and snacks. Included with your stay is a hot buffet breakfast with waffle machines where you can make your own waffles. One thing to note is that they have a water bottle filler right off the lobby on your way to the elevators. That's really nice. Located on the fifth floor is the fitness center, which has large windows overlooking the pool and the streets below. Also on the fifth floor, right across from the fitness center, is the laundry room. This floor is also where you will find the rooftop pool. There's plenty of seating and some tables and chairs to enjoy some relaxation. Our room was a kid suite on the third floor. The front room had a desk with a TV, twin bunk beds, and a twin sofa bed. The lamp on the desk had two 120 volt outlets, which was very convenient to charge all my stuff because I always have lots of stuff to charge. In the middle of the room across from the bathroom is a little kitchenette with a microwave, refrigerator, and coffee maker. The bathroom was a nice size with a walk-in shower and lighted mirror. Nothing fancy, but very functional. In the back of the suite was the main bedroom with two comfy queen beds, a dresser, closet, and a second 42-inch TV. In the wall between the two beds are two 120-volt outlets and a USB outlet. However, the USB didn't work and only one of the plugs worked, so it was a nice idea. The room overall is great for a family. My only complaint is that the walls are thin. Ceilings are too. I lay in bed listening to someone running back and forth in the room above me until well after midnight. This hotel does not have a restaurant attached with the exception of the morning buffet breakfast. However, there is a coffee bean located right out front where you can get a few baked goods and of course, delicious coffee. Also in the same building is a CVS pharmacy that has a little bit of everything. 
This hotel is pretty centrally located. It's near lots of restaurants and close to the Anaheim Garden Walk, which we covered in our What to Do in Anaheim in addition to Disney video. I'll link that video down below, so be sure to check it out. Would I stay here again? Probably not. I much prefer the Residence Inn next door or the Hyatt House across the street. And as a matter of fact, we've reviewed both of those hotels, so I'll link those videos down below too. In fact, we've reviewed lots of hotels both here at Disneyland and at Disney World, so be sure to check those videos out as well. I know I'm giving you a lot to do, but most of all, thank you so much for watching. And be sure to hit the thumbs up for us and subscribe because we will continue to explore what makes Disney so magical. Until next time, be safe and remember, it's all just designed for fun.